Good morning and happy Easter. Jesus Christ is risen today, alleluia, a triumphant holy day, alleluia, who did once upon the cross, alleluia. Then let us sing, Alleluia, unto Christ our heavenly King, Alleluia. Welcome to St. Mark Parish in celebration of our Easter Mass here at St. Anne's Church. Let's together celebrate this great feast of the resurrection of our Lord in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of her Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Mm -hmm. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You are Lord of the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O oh God, who on this day, for your only begotten Son, have conquered death, and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. 
He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures for This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the word. Of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. He it is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Christians, to the Paschal victim, offer your thankful praises, a lamb the sheep redeems. Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life who died reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw wayfaring. The tomb of Christ who is living the glory of Jesus' resurrection, bright angels attesting, the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ, my hope is arisen, to Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, victor king ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. Mm -hmm. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloth there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths and the cloth that had covered his head not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first. He saw and he believed, for they did not yet understand the scripture that had, he had to rise from the dead. And this is the gospel of the Lord. Again, welcome to St. Anne's Church and the celebration of the resurrection of our Lord. Again, this is the greatest holy day in the Christian calendar. This is the Sunday of all Sundays when Christ has risen from the dead. Alleluia. He has conquered death, that which we all fear of, but he has opened the way to eternal life for us, and that's why we can sing Alleluia and our thanksgiving to God for this great event and our salvation. St. Paul in his letter to the Corinthians tells us, if Christ had not been raised, then our preaching is in vain and our faith is in vain. But he has restored our faith and our hope and his victory over sin and death. Remember on Mount Tabor in the Transfiguration, Jesus announced that he would rise from the dead and at that moment, the disciples saw the splendor and glory of the resurrection and the transformation of Christ. Now, it has taken place, the reality of the resurrection and the splendor of that moment, a glory and a peace that he, we will all partake of as our journey in this world will continue to the fullness of life and the presence of our risen Lord. Now we celebrate Easter Mass, our Passover meal, and we make present again the saving events of Christ's passion, death, and resurrection. At each Mass, he is present. As we announce in Mass, we proclaim your death, O Lord. We profess your resurrection until you come again. You know, many years ago, I was a retreat in Mount Savior Monastery, many, many years ago, when I was first ordained. And there's a little booklet there, one of the monks, he had written, a little statement here that I always stayed with in reference to the resurrection. And I'm sure the monk being very aware of his own life and surroundings there, he says, we see the love of God and we experience the resurrection in our daily going to rest in the death of night and rising and awakening to life and light each morning. 
Maybe you see in that event, every day of our living, we experience a sense of a resurrection, of dying to ourselves and rising into the light in another day of life. So again, on this great celebration of Easter Sunday, just to share some beautiful words of St. John Vianney, the Curie of ours, who is the patron saint of us parish priests. He writes, the eyes of the world see no further than this life. So my, I see no further than the walls when the church doors are shut. The eyes of the Christian see deep into eternity. He goes on to say, to be loved by God, to be united to God, to live in the presence of God, and to live for God. Oh, how wonderful this is, and death. My friends, Christ is risen, and he has changed our fears of death into faith, hope, and life. Alleluia. And happy Easter. And may we live the resurrection of Christ each day of our lives in our love for God and each other. Happy Easter. My dear friends, in place of the Nicene Creed, we'll now renew our baptismal vows. My dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may walk with him in newness of life. So now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the holy Catholic Church. So I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. do. And all his empty promises? I, I do. do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. By raising Jesus, God changed sin and death to grace and life. Confidently, we raise our prayers to the Holy One. That the whole church in this Easter season feel the enthusiasm of the first Christians spreading the good news, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That all in positions of authority be the yeast that transforms society and heals our fragile earth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all Christian women and men witness the resurrected Christ in all they say and do, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who gather to celebrate the Lord's rising from the dead and who share his body and blood recognize him in one another, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the deceased of our parish, especially Lou Persichetti, Patricia Moldovan, and Gregory Giampico, for whom this Mass is intended, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of glory and power, we thank you for the resurrection of your Son. Hear the, the concerns we offer through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, 
For your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. By this mystery of this wood and wine, we come to share the divinity of Christ, who has humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord, we ask you to wash away our iniquities, cleanse us from our sins. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be found acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice and the praise and the glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Exalting with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, our Lord, but on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world, by dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, he restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together in unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis our Pope, Nelson our Bishop, and all who hope who hold to the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, for they offer for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in the hope of health and well-being, paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating this most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul and Andrew, and all the saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and count them on the flock of those you have chosen. Bless, O God, we pray. Bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father. 
Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven, of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as one. You are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offerings of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice and spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son and be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, open your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, and sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. For in Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. May the body of Christ keep us safe through eternal life. Blood of Christ, keep us safe for each other. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal Mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. May he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten Son endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's Passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and the exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. This Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. And a happy Easter to you all.